Good morning and welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen on this beautiful Monday morning. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. I know I did. I went walking on the beach on Saturday to blow them cobwebs away and my, it was gorgeous. So it's me today in the kitchen and I have Tony on camera. Hi. Hi Tony. And today I'm going to be making a blueberry and lemon layered sponge cake filled with our delicious blueberry and lemon flavoured buttercream topped with blueberries but we are also going to make homemade lemon curd so instead of putting jam in the cake I'm going to be putting the homemade lemon curd in it so I'm going to show you how to make both and um, this lemon curd is absolutely delicious I don't know if uh, Tony can see that but look at that it's just how lemon curd should be it's got a lovely tart taste to it a nice texture so it'll be great on your toast and it's also great for using on your cakes but it's got a lovely tart lemon to it so if you didn't want it too tart you could just start like lower your lemon juice that you put in so we're going to start first uh, oh let, let Tony shout some hellos out yeah. Well, Jackie Evans says she was drooling already at that lemon cake. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, Debbie Hargreaves. Hi, Donna Marie. Hi, Jackie Adams. Hi, Maureen Kassam. Hi, Samantha Goodman. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Janie. Hi, Helen. Hi, Carol. Just, hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I hope you've all had a wonderful time. And uh, we're back to our lovely live on this Monday. The first thing I want to do today is I'm going to start the lemon curd because that takes between, depending on how it is with it, it's between 15 and 30 minutes to make that's it and then you just let it go cold uh, and then you can spoon it into your jar. So you could make that this morning uh, if you have the ingredients in and then within four or five hours you have got lemon curd to use. I made this last night because I wanted it to be nice and, and, and cool for going on the cake that we're going to make in a bit. Uh, and it's, uh, it was a joy to make. We're going to make that, start making that, then I can get on with making the cake and show you the, the it's just a, a lemon and blueberry flavoured sponge cake. We'll get that in the oven and then we'll make sure that all the time we'll be checking the lemon curd and then I'll make the buttercream and finally we'll just put the whole thing together and you'll have a gorgeous blueberry and lemon layered sponge topped with fresh blueberries and using homemade lemon curd and that will be a showpiece for you for your tea table and thank you guys for everyone who has been making the uh, apple crumble tartlets over the weekend I have seen so many pictures and you all love them and it really it, it just oh I feel so great when I see you actually making the recipes and that you love doing them so thank you for that and keep sharing we're just, hello YouTubers we're in the YouTube we're, we're streaming to YouTube today and we're also streaming to our new group the um, cake recipe is it cake recipes we got the new group there Tony we can show people what we're, what we're streaming into um, <laughs> <I did. laughs> and you've all I, I know a, a lot of you have all joined the group and it's been great to see how many new members we've been having into the group so if you haven't joined the group already you can find it by searching on Facebook for cake recipes and it's dash sugar and crumbs mixing it up and you'll be able to look at all that and then you can apply to join the group and Carol will approve you and you can be in there and it's only for showcasing your your baked goods that you've used using the sugar and crumbs, icing sugars, cocoa powders, whipping it up. Let's get going. I'm using it's a Bay Marie method. So I've got hot water, I've been we heated up in the pan already, I've got the hot water, I've got my glass bowl in there, and the bowl is not touching the water. So into that, we're going to add 100 grams of butter, which has been cubed. 100 grams of butter. 200 grams of icing sugar. 200 grams of caster sugar, I'm sorry. 200 grams of caster sugar. I've got the zest of four lemons. And then I have the juice of four lemons and I'm going to slowly just mix that down we're going to let that the butter starts to melt pretty quick because I've had the bowl on the heat there so I'm just letting the butter melt down into this mixture So 
So that's 100 grams of butter diced into cubes, 200 grams of caster sugar, the zest and juice of four lemons. And that's all that's in this bowl at the moment. Um, Valerie, to join the new group, all you need to do is search cake recipes dash sugar and crumbs mixing it up. Um, it's literally as simple as that. Um, just answer the questions, make sure that you understand the rules, and then someone will accept your request to join. It's super simple. <laughs> well, so while that butter's just melting down there, what I'm going to do is I want to use three whole eggs and one egg yolk. Don't ask me why we're not using the other egg white. The recipe says three eggs and one egg yolk. So I've got the three eggs going into here. whisk these up. So they're all whisked up ready now for when this butter smells. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit because it was bubbling a bit. So the butter is slowly melting down there. have a tart a bit of a kick to it otherwise it's just like it's probably just eating sugar but it's got a nice kick to this one it's a but if you don't want it to have too much then just reduce one of the lemons and it also will depend on the size of the lemons you use I mean last night I used like four quite big lemons and I know if Claire's watching over in Spain, they have big lemons over in Spain as well. So if it depends. If you're going to use big lemons, then yeah, knock it down to three because you'll still find that it'll still be uh, have a lovely tart, tarty taste. It wasn't enough to make your lips go sour, but it had a, it did have a nice tart to it. Now that butter has nearly melted now. Anne is asking, is the water rapid boil or simmering? It's on a simmering heat at the moment. And Helen, um, there wasn't a little shell in the eggs. It was just, you know, like when you get those little pieces. Yes. Um, it's not shell, I promise. No, I've got no, no, I have no shell in there. But thank you for the heads up anyway. Nice observation because it's nice to know what's in our bowl. Absolutely. <laughs> so as you can see now, um, just, I'll just bring this out a moment. I'll just put that like that. That is all... all melted down now that we can so that's just all that's the lemon the the lemon the lemon zest the lemon juice lemon zest the butter and the caster sugar has all melted down so i'm going to whip salted or unsalted. i've used unsalted you can use whatever you would like to use just make sure that's not too sticky there so i'm going to whisk these eggs into the mixture hiya doe no griffin's watching hello doe <laughs> Joe's back in the kitchen a week on Friday. She's doing the Halloween cute toppers. So once you've made sure these eggs have really been mixed in, because you don't want to have like scrambled eggs, you want to make sure the eggs are all mixed into the mixture, you're going to leave this on a simmering heat between 15 and, I think it's about 15 to 20 minutes. So now I've got, and you're going to keep stirring occasionally, so I'm just going to keep coming back to that and giving it a stir. It starts to thicken up and you want to get it to a nice thick consistency that it coats the back of a spoon. 
Marie Ellis is asking what else is added to the butter, caster sugar, and lemons. Am I right in thinking this recipe is on our website? Not yet. Not yet. The, 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 the sponges, but I've not had time to put the lemon curd on. So all there is, at the um, the lemon zest, the lemon juice, the butter, and the caster sugar. All I've added now is four eggs, with three eggs and one egg yolk. So that's three whole eggs and one egg yolk has been added. And that's all that there is in this lemon curd. So I am just going to leave that now. And I've got that down onto number three. I just want it to gently simmering along. You can see it's, uh, it is just on a simmering heat, that now. So, and I'm going to keep giving it a quick stir. Now let's bring over the mixer. Making sure that no wires are getting... There we go. Just want to make sure nothing's going to get burnt or caught. <laughs> that's the last thing we need, isn't it? Right, that's nice and cold there. Right, I've got the mixer on. I want to keep it close because I want to keep an eye on the uh, the lemon curd. I said I'll just keep going to it, give it another mix. I do, all I'm doing, making sure, is I'm just making sure that all the eggs are incorporated into it all. And Carol uh, Sparks is asking, what size eggs did you use? I used medium. I just use medium free range eggs. Lemon and blueberry sponge. Into the mixing bowl, I'm going to put 300 grams of margarine and 300 grams of blueberry and lemon natural flavoured icing sugar. This icing sugar is gorgeous. It's this one. The blueberry and lemon. Sorry, sweet. Are we alright there? Towards, Towards me. So if you wanted to, I mean, you could if you wanted to just use the lemon drizzle or just use a blueberry because we do we do blueberry on its own and we do lemon drizzle on its own and we've got the blueberry and lemon mixed together. Now, if you wanted to, you could make a lemon sponge and then do the blueberry flavoured icing sugar. But I just decided to use the blueberry and lemon all in one because it absolutely smells delicious. This one. I'm just going to uh, gently chop the icing sugar into the margarine to prevent that sort of dust cloud. Now this recipe is on the website. I've just published this one now. So this recipe is on the website and it's under blueberry and lemon uh, layered sponge. Blueberry and lemon, blueberry and, blueberry and lemon flavoured layered sponge. And that's on the website. And as soon as the live's finished, the lemon curd will be going on the website as well. Again, I'll just give that a quick stir. There we go. So don't, don't forget all the classes coming up. Uh, we've got Carol's Buttercream Flowers tomorrow. We've got the Cupcake Bouquet course on Wednesday. Uh, Carol's doing a lovely live tonight. Um, that's at 8 o'clock. I think Laura's back in the kitchen on Thursday. And then next week, we start a, a week of, um, of, of lives and online courses. It's going to be great. It's... Uh, only the chalk on Monday, then it's buttercream flowers on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday is Claire, Claire Corbett with the uh, the um, macron pops. I thought, is it is it popsi popsicles? So the, the macron pops that she's doing on there. And then Thursday is a uh, Don Butler with the Dinky Doodle handbag. And then Friday it's Doe with the uh, cute Halloween toppers. So we have a busy week. Yeah, it's jam-packed. It is jam-packed. There's still time to book on those classes if you want to book on to them. Here we go. Where's my... Um... Where did it go? It went here. <laughs> Here's... Here it is. It would help. <laughs> so I'm just going to whisk this now. I'm just going to beat this up now. As you say, when you incorporate it all and you chop in, you don't get that icing sugar cloud all over your kitchen, which covers you and usually all your shelves and everything else. So I'm just going to beat this up now until it's nice and fluffy. I'm just going to give the lemon curd a stir. But if you can, I don't know, um, it's starting to thicken up this. Not enough.
enough yet, so I'm just making sure that everything scrapes off the sides. If you did, unfortunately, have a bit of, sounds daft, a bit of egg in there that you could see, like a bit, a bit of egg and scramble, you just sieve it at the end, you just sieve everything through and it's fine. But you just keep going back to it now and stirring it every few minutes. I found last night when I was making it, I didn't get any egg in it, it was great. There we go. So this it just takes you about 15 to 20 minutes this for uh, to go to a nice thick consistency. Now I've got six medium eggs and I've got 300 grams of self-raising flour. So I'm just mixing this really, give it a really good beat round, what that nice light and fluffy. make sure there's no uh, loose margarine at the bottom that everything's incorporated into the icing sugar. Victoria's asking why margarine instead of butter? Margarine is better for margarine is better for baking. Margarine is better for baking and butter used for butter icing. I found sometimes if I've used butter in baking it's got a bit dense Whereas the margarine, it makes it nice, light and fluffy. And butter is certainly better for using your buttercream. Unless you're vegan and you're using the stalk block and you have to use a non-dairy. Uh, using butter holds better as well for your buttercream. Just got that on a, a slow speed there. Well, I'm just going to break the eggs in one by one. Oh, for the lemon, yeah, yeah, I've yeah. definitely got lemon curd in the, in the, it had to be butter in the lemon curd, but I use margarine in the sponge. I'm just going to add the eggs one by one until they're well incorporated. Now, if you do, if you do find that your mixture is starting to curdle a bit, you can put in a couple of spoonfuls of your flour and that will stop it curdling. into that bit there. There we go. Just to stop it doing the curdling process. this bowl down now just make sure that everything's mixed up from the bottom before I add the flour. I'll just scrape all that down and I'm just going to add the flour in. Tracy Roberts is saying, morning Karen, can you make a lemon tart one day? I never seem to get them right. Yes. <laughs> I'll be happy with that. My stomach will not, but <laughs> well, just, my waistline. <laughs> I'm just folding that in carefully like that because I'm just gonna just fold in carefully, and I'm just gonna give it a quick mix up.
30 seconds to mix your batter up. That's all it needs. And that is your cake batter. All done there. Just take the bowl off. I'm just going to move the mixer out of the way for a moment. Denise is asking, what size tins will you be using, please? Here's some I prepared earlier. I'm using three three eight inch loose bottom sandwich tins. Now you can just use, uh, if you've got the seamless ones, that's fine, as long as you make sure you put greaseproof paper in them. And I've also done the greaseproof paper in these, but I've also used a PME cake release as well, just to ensure that the cake comes out nice and easy out of the cake tins. Now I'm just gonna make sure this is all mixed in. It has. So I'm gonna divide this between, evenly, between the cake tins. Now, some people you can weigh it if you want to. I just go by eye. Also, I'm sorry if I'm not catching your comments, guys, as well. It's There's only two me. of us. <laughs> just me and Karen, so... If I'm not catching them, I'm sorry. I'm hoping you guys, I mean, you guys seem pretty on it today, answering each other, but <laughs> we will make sure to go through everything. We certainly, anyway. we always do. At the end of a live, I will go through and I will try and answer everything for you. I'm just going to gently smooth all this into the tins. says is there no end to your talents multitasking as well two things on the go <laughs> <laughs> well I, I didn't want to just you stand there and just uh, and just watch lemon curd i mean it's, it's been like watching a kettle boil wouldn't it You'd be waiting forever <laughs> and there's only so much i, I can't sing and dance for you i think i'd, I'd clear a lot of you off <laughs> you're leaving droves there we go. So this is going to go in the oven. I'm going to do the, it's the low and slow method that I really like with this one. I do it on 140 degrees, which is gas mark one, 275 Fahrenheit. And this is for, this is a fan oven that we use here. So I do, I do think that doing it low and slow, it really does help your cakes stay onto a nice, uh, a nice flat level rather than doming in the center. Right, I'm going to put these in the oven now and then come back because I think our lemon curd. Um, Julie, you can find the recipe for this sponge on the sugar and crumbs mixing it up.co.uk website. Um, but in the meantime, how many eggs and how much flour? What is the recipe? I will come over the recipe, just bear with me. It's on, it is on the website, you'll put that on the website already. So let's go again. Now I'm putting that in the oven and we're going to do it for 30 to 35 minutes. So I'm just putting the timer on for 30 minutes now because I do like to check it after 30 minutes. Just let my get, I'll give that another stir. I'm just going to get a spoon because I think this is, this is practically ready now. But I'm going to go through the recipe for you again as well. Ooh, just bear with me. Ooh, Wendy Green made some lemon curd on Saturday. Great minds think alike. Absolutely. <laughs> So here we go. I'm just going to put that down so you can so you can see me. I'm just going to coat the back of this spoon. Oh yes, that. Look at that. Can you see, bring that over here onto there like that. It's coated the back of the spoon. It's not running anywhere. Can you see that? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means your lemon curd is ready. And all you do now is you just give it another quick stir and you leave this in this bowl now to go cool and once it's cooled you then spoon into your sterilized um i use a airtight jar or you can use jam jars with grease proof on so I, and then just spoon it into that and then once i put it in the fridge so i'm going to leave that to one side and then you can see that in a bit Turn, turn that off and move that out of the way, then I can put the mixer back then. There we go. Quick 
wipe down. <laughs> Jackie Adams, who would have licked that spoon? Me! <laughs> <laughs> If I wasn't, on, you know, if I wasn't doing it on camera and it was something that I could put it straight in the wash, I probably would have done that at home as well. But at the moment, no, and it's, it's a bit, bit oh, it might burn my tongue. <laughs> so, the blueberry lemon flavored sponge. We started off with 300 grams of margarine and 300 grams of blueberry and lemon flavored, natural flavored icing sugar from Sugar and Crumbs, and we creamed them together until they were lovely, light, and fluffy. Then I added six eggs, one at a time, until they were well incorporated into the batter. Once You can add a bit of flour to it if you think it's curdling. It doesn't matter, you can just add the flour later or you can add a bit as you're going along. I then put in 300 grams of self-raising flour. And I've mixed that, made sure it was incorporated. Then I whisked it on a high speed for 20 seconds. You don't need to do it any longer than 20 to 30 seconds. Don't overbeat it. I divided it equally into three tins and I've popped that in the oven on 140 degrees C, which is gas mark one, 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's gone in the oven between 30 and 35 minutes. You know it's cooked when they're golden brown and your cake test or your cocktail stick comes out clean once it's been inserted into the middle to test the cake. Lemon curd. Might as well go through that recipe as well. The lemon curd... You put into a bowl, you do it like a bain marie method, you make sure the bowl doesn't touch the water that's in the saucepan. It's like when you're melting chocolate, you've got to make sure that it's not touching the water. It's on a gentle heat and you have 100 grams of diced butter, 200 grams of caster sugar, the juice and zest of four lemons. Now you let them slowly all melt together until there's no butter left, everything's just a lovely lemony mixture. Into that mixture, you add it's three eggs and one egg yolk. And you whisk that into a bowl and then pour that into the lemon curd and whisk it until everything is combined and incorporated really well. Leave it on a gentle heat cooking between 15 and 20 minutes. Once it goes, th it, you'll see it start to thicken throughout the process. And once it coats the back of a spoon without falling off, you know it's ready. Leave it to cool in the bowl until it's gone cold and then you can spoon it into your preferred storage jar that you're going to use. And how long will it store for? I would store... I, I don't actually know. I, don't, I mean, I would once it's kept in the fridge, I, two or three weeks... Definitely. I mean, I've not used I've not used preserving sugar, but I could that. I mean, I would leave that at least a, over a, a good week because it's it's cooked now. The eggs are cooked, so it's all cooked in that. So that would be a a, a good two weeks. I'll put some grease. I mean, that's an airtight jar, but I also will put a little a little line of grease proof over it as well. I mean, it's not going to last that long anyway. No, because I'm going to use it. There'd be a lot used on the cake. Uh, this is great because you use it on the in, in between your layers. You don't put like loads and loads on, but you use it in between your layers, and then you've got enough left then to go on your toast. Or if you're making your cupcakes, you could put a little bit of lemon curd in the centre, or and decorate your cupcakes with lemon curd and and bits of uh, butter icing. So it won't last that long. And once you've tasted it, it really won't last that long. <laughs> No, I definitely intend to be using a lot of it today. <laughs> <laughs> just bear with me. I just want to get my other bowl. Here it is. And I've still lost a beater. Here it is. You put something down, I think, where's it gone? So we're going to make some blueberry and lemon flavoured buttercream. I'm going to beat until light and fluffy. I'm going to beat a um, 200 gram block of butter. I'm using unsalted. I'm just going to chop it into little pieces. So it's room temperature butter. This has been out for a few hours here. So that's nice room temperature butter. Put that into the bowl. Let's get 
that on nice and fluffy. Now I've got my 500 gram bag here of blueberry and lemon flavoured icing sugar and I'm going to use the whole bag because I've used the 250 block of, my, of uh, butter so I'm using the whole bag of this icing sugar. I'm also going to use a Wilton 1M to pipe uh, a bit of a decoration because I'm not covering the side I want just to pipe on the, around the edges just so that it, it looks nice. I've just thrown the piping on the back on the floor and just get another one out. and it tastes absolutely delicious. So I've got my icing bag ready. So that's just beating down nicely. Got a spatula here. Could you pass me a turntable post toner? That silver one there, thanks. Thank you very much. making sure there's no uh, loose loose butter at the bottom that might not have mixed in. I'll just give that another quick mix and then I'm going to add the icing sugar to it now. Just put those to one side because we're going to do these one layer at a time. sugar into here. Again we're going to chop this in because we don't want to have an icing sugar cloud. So that's 500 grams of the natural flavoured icing sugar going in. I'm just going to gently chop that in. Nothing worse is the girls than when you turn your mixer on, you've not chopped it in properly and then suddenly everything in your kitchen is covered with white dust. And I must say, you ladies who made your castle and dragon cake on Friday 
oh my goodness how good they were they were absolutely excellent i've been looking at the pictures over the weekend i hope i've not missed anybody i've tried to comment on every one i am so impressed and amazed at you how you've created such beautiful castles and dragons your dragons they just had such cute expressions on the faces even the sleeping one right, let's get that on there want to make sure everything gets mixed up I'll just start it on small burst just to make sure once I've got it incorporated that's when I'll just turn it up just for a good 20 seconds just to make sure it's all mixed As soon as the lights finish, that's the last next job I'll do before I tidy up. I'll just go and put the lemon curd one on, and then that'll be on then for you. And if I need to do two recipes rather than all in one, because some people might just like to make the lemon curd without making the sponge. There we go, that's a good mix there. did it by mistake at home I mean I just set the mixer off oh my days the the cupboards everything in fact my husband came in he said, he said what's gone on I went I just turned the mixer on too quick I think everything was covered there we go took all the butter icing off that so now I've got a lovely oh no in fact I haven't what I'm going to do is it's quite it's even though it's a lovely day today it's quite chilly in this um, kitchen I'm actually going to put a little bit of water in that because it's a bit firm. It is a little bit firm that for putting in the piping bag. I could just see, I can feel some resistance when I'm going in. So I'm just going to do a couple of tablespoons, a tablespoon just to start off with of hot water just to uh, get a lovely piping consistency. Just bear with me, I'll just get some hot water. I could feel the resistance then when I put the uh, spatula in. I thought that's not going to pipe very well, that's going to catch. So I'll just put a tablespoon in and see what that looks like. That's better. You can see it's. it's you see now it's it's more creamier looking but it's still going to hold its shape all right it just was a little too bit firm so if you on a red hot summer's day no you're not going to need to put the water in but when it's a cool day and especially in the winter you will find one to two tablespoons of hot water will really help you when you come to doing your piping personal preference it's what I've always used I've always used a beta always ever since I've been a, a young un, I've used a beta and the, I use the whisk for when I'm making cream or I'm doing cheesecake so if you find that your sponges work using the the whisk then you can carry on using the whisk it's just that I've always just found that the beta is better for me I don't know whether the other ladies agree you know the one our ladies who are watching now and everybody else can say what their personal preferences are Helen Williams also uses a paddle as well. So I guess it's all personal preference. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. 
So I'm going to half fill the bag because I can keep coming back to filling it. sponge going on there what I will do just to make sure it, it stays a little bit of buttercream I'm just gonna I just want to just pipe just some little stars going around I just want it to look a bit pretty a bit pretty from the side when you're looking at it Yes, and the cakes are flavoured as well. Um, we're using the blueberry eggs and sh it, lemon. Lemon and blue blueberry and lemon. It's we're blue using both. It's blueberry. And it's, yeah, it's actually it's, it's a flavour called blueberry and lemon. Uh, because we do do blueberry icing sugar and we do do lemon drizzle icing sugar, but we also do an amazing blueberry and lemon. It's delicious. do now is where's my lemon curd so this is the lemon curd that I made last night it's nice and cold I'm just gonna do a layer of this that I'll just clean that handle that's why I put that the handle was dirty I get seems to get cake batter everywhere when I do it so I'm just gonna put some nice lemon curd in there. Oh, I can't wait for this cake. <laughs> yeah, Pam Ledley says it looks gorgeous. So what I will do this time, I just want to, I just want to make sure I leave enough for the top you see as well. I've got more than enough. I always panic in case I'm not going to have enough icing, butter icing, but I, should, I shouldn't doubt myself, which I do. Yeah, Moreen says, look flush, Nikki King, yummy. <laughs> Helen Miles hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making myself, I'm making myself hungry as well. So I'll put that in there. There we go. Just... over there I want to put a little bit more over the edge just to make it photo so I just want a little bit so you can see it on that one there we go let's put this one on Scrape 
hold this now. Nikki, it's only a horrible job for my waistline. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else, my taste buds, my senses, are just there in heaven. Every time I smell this sugar and crumb station. Oh, you can smell that lemon curd though, can't you? It's gorgeous. It smells divine. And yep, good idea, Judith. You could mix the lemon curd into the butter cream. Yes. I love it when I watch you ladies how you, you do them and the different ideas you come up with is absolutely amazing. I love all your all your different ideas. Just making sure I'm not wasting any butter cream now. Helen says, wow, that cake is massive. <laughs> we don't do half portions here. <laughs> no, we can't, can we? The lads in the warehouse wouldn't like it. <laughs> here we go. Just was trying to get some air out of there so it doesn't... Uh, just going to try and... I'm not going to put any more lemon curd on the top. I'm just going to just put some nice blueberries. Jackie, tonight Carol is making a fault line cake. So that should be fun. She's using the uh, photo cake strips that she showed us on Thursday. Yes. So. Fun little monster cake. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. So there we go. Just check that open. Yeah, they're very nearly done. Oh my goodness, we're going a bit quicker than we thought, aren't we? <laughs> and you know that I don't... <laughs> Sorry, Shaggy Patterns. Yeah. Oh look, a healthy cake. It has fruit on it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's one of my five a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my five a day. I can't wait. So let's make the blueberries bling. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Well, it is coming out. I'm just thinking I'm getting it everywhere. I've just got to clean this up before the live tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just go around the side of the cake. Get all... Oh. So we've got... That looks so tasty. <laughs> you see, you've still got some lemon... So you could, if you wanted to, you could put more lemon curd on. I've gone through, through half the lemon curd there so if you wanted to you could make half a batch if you wanted to make it for the cake or if you want to save that now and you could have lemon curd you could do lemon curd cupcakes like people said you could mix the lemon curd in with your butter cream i just got a bit of lemon curd coming over the top there just so you could see it on the top layer now you could do it on the bottom layer if you, as, if you wanted to as well i just didn't fancy the the sponge maybe slipping so there we go a blueberry and lemon flavored layered sponge with blueberry and <laughs> with blueberry and lemon natural flavoured buttercream inside topped with blueberries and your very own homemade lemon curd so there'll be no need to go and get your shop bought lemon curd you can make your very own lemon curd and do all the different um, recipes I'm also I would use this lemon curd as well or I'd use it as something uh, I'd, I'd 
been looking at recipes for lemon meringue pies and a lot of them use lemon curd but I'd have to, I want one that sets a little bit harder as well so there's some that use the corn flour in with it so I'm looking at doing that so I can make our very own lemon meringue pies as well and use the whipping it up as the, for the meringue so I'm into looking at that as well uh, I'll go through the recipes again because it's only got four minutes on the oven waiting for the sponges to come out for you and like that thinking come on <laughs> so i'm just going to go through the recipes again for you just to to we are while away a couple of minutes um lemon curd you want 100 grams of butter diced into cubes and you want 200 grams of caster sugar the juice and zest of four lemons that all goes into one bowl and you uh, do it on a gentle heat, simmering away until all the butter has melted and you've got a lovely lemony mixture in your bowl. Add three eggs and one egg yolk. The whisked, whisk them first and then add it to the mixture and whisk them in. Now make sure your lemon curd is still on simmer. You don't want it to boil, you always want it to be simmering away and that will take around 15 to 20 minutes just gently simmering and you keep stirring it every few minutes and it'll go nice and thick until it resembles, that's gone nice and cool now, you can see that it's, it's gone thick already. And then that coats the back of a spoon and you know it's ready. So I'll just give that another I'll just give it another stir, but yeah, that has gone cold. That's gone cold enough now for me to put that oh it's a bit warm underneath. Leave it to go cold say another half an hour at least. And then I'll put that into one of these jars and then just put it into the fridge and it just goes in a lovely set mixture. And then you've got your lemon curd there. Your blueberry and lemon sponge is uh, just the Victoria it's a Victoria sponge recipe uh, but I've used 300 grams of um, margarine, 300 grams of blueberry and lemon flavoured icing sugar, I've, whisked, beat, I've beat them together till they're nice and fluffy, then I've added six eggs one at a time until they've been well incorporated, then I added the uh, 300 grams of flour, uh, mix that, divide it between three tins and bake in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes on 140 degrees C gas mark one 275 degrees fahrenheit the buttercream was 250 grams of uh, unsalted butter cut into pieces and whisked until nice light and fluffy in the mixer on a high speed then i added 500 grams of blueberry and lemon flavored icing sugar i've incorporated it do it in with a spatula until you've uh, so you don't get an icing sugar dust cloud everywhere and then on high speed for no more than 20 seconds if you need to, add a tablespoon of hot water just to make it into a piping consistency and also it would crumb coat your cakes better that way as well. Otherwise, you'll find if it's too stiff, it will tear your sponge and you'll start having crumbs all over in, into your butter icing. Then I've just layered it up by doing um, a, a layer of buttercream and then putting lemon curd over it. Layer, layer, layer. On the top, it's got the fresh blueberries. And I've just finished off with our gorgeous finishing sparkle, which you know is my number one thing. I love glitter. So we've got our finishing sparkle and I'm just going to check the oven now for you. Just bear with me a second. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I could have timed that better. I've got three cakes so I will turn the, I will leave those to cool in the tins for 10 minutes and then I'll turn them upside down onto the wire rack to cool and I'll just break off any loose little edges that are there and then you get the perfect rounds that you've got now and they'll all be nice and flat so just, this is just burning my fingers just bear with me a second just while I go and put it down Oh, lots of love hearts from everyone. So I do 
hope you've liked this live. I'm sorry it's only been an hour, but I've made you some gorgeous lemon curd and I've made you a gorgeous blueberry and lemon sponge. Don't forget to tune in tonight to watch Carol at 8 o'clock. I'll be back doing the comments and Tony's on the camera. Um, we'll be watching Carol do a fault line cake. I can't wait to see it. And then tomorrow we've got buttercream flowers class, which is on at is it 11.30, Tony, yes, I think. 11 is it 11.30? We've got the buttercream flowers class. And in the afternoon, I think it's 2.30, we have the uh, Carol's Cupcake Bouquet Prep class for all the ladies doing the class on the Wednesday. So that's at 2.30, 2.30 tomorrow. Then Wednesday, we have the uh, Cupcake Bouquet class, which is an online class. You've still got time to join if you want to. You'll learn how to make a gorgeous bouquet just full of cakes, cupcakes. If the ladies who haven't already seen it on the Facebook, they're absolutely amazing. Thursday, we've got Laura back in the kitchen. I don't know what she's cooking, but I know she's back in the kitchen on Thursday night. And then Friday, it's my vegan Friday, which I'm thinking of doing a vegan cherry bake well. So I'm still, it's, I'm, I'm still looking at it, but it's looking very, very much like a vegan cherry bake well with a vegan, I'm gonna make vegan pastry. So I can do a vegan cherry bake well. And then next week is a full on week, starting with Ollie the Choc on the Monday, We've got uh, buttercream flowers on the Tuesday. We've got uh, Claire Corbett on the Wednesday with the uh, popsicles. Thursday is Dawn Butler Dinky Doodle handbag cake. And Friday is a lovely dough griffin with the cute Halloween toppers. So we have a full on week next week. And um, just in case you ladies are still wanting undecided about Claire's class, here's gorgeous cake popsicles. The macarons, she's going to show you how to make macarons using our whipping it up and also with the egg whites. So you'll be learning to do macarons both ways. It's a class, it's £30, one not to be missed because you can make some show-stopping gorgeous macarons and it's just cake pops. So I do hope you've enjoyed today's live and I'll see you back again tonight when I'm on the comments. Other than that, I'll see all you with the ladies for Vegan Friday on Friday. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. Sorry, sweet. Right. Thank Bye, you. <laughs> See you. Guys. See ya.